All right, and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In my previous video, I showed you how to access the deep and dark web on a computer. Now I'm gonna show you how you can do it on your uh, mobile device. Now I'm using Android in this demonstration, but I'm almost 100% sure that iPhone has the same exact applications available for it. So you can just follow along with your iPhone, replace the Play Store with the Apple Store, and follow the same steps and you'll be able to access the deep and dark web as well. Um, the two apps you're going to need are Orbot and Orbfox as you see here. So just go to your application store, type in Orbfox and Orbot. I typed in Orbfox and they were the first two ones to come up. Now Orbot is um, your Tor proxy. It runs your traffic through the Tor network which adds layers of encryption around your traffic. And it also hops your traffic from place to place to place to place on something called a node. And then when it's at the last node, um, the site like Google or Facebook, wherever your traffic is going, sees that IP address and not your true IP address. Um, this is very good, good for privacy-based reasons because your ISP, um, the government, Facebook, they're all collecting data on you. They're all spying on you. And this helps make that a lot harder for them. Um, it doesn't completely lock you, lock you down, but it definitely adds a layer of security to your phone. And it is very easy for um, anyone with a little bit of technical skill to grab your traffic right out of the um, in between from destination to destination and uh, get a hold of it, get your IP address, track your physical location, um, get valuable information about your network that they could use to hack it or hack you or even get passwords and things of that nature. So this helps prevent a lot of that stuff. Well, all of that stuff that I mentioned. So it's definitely a good app to have. The next one you're going to need is OrbFox. And that's basically the Tor browser, which is a privacy-focused web browser. So it's a lot more secure and privacy-focused than the web browser that comes on your phone or any other web browser. So once you uh, get those open and installed, uh, go ahead and open up Orbot. Make sure that it's running. Uh, it should look green like this, and you should see a onion in the top left corner of your screen. And as if you notice... I have a key beside that um, on my notification bar at the very top and that's because my VPN mode is on. You can turn it on and off right here with this switch. This app's very easy to use. The VPN encrypts the traffic itself and sends it to another server. The proxy hops it around and adds layers of encryption around it. Using both of these in conjunction adds a huge layer of security to your phone. Um, it encrypts all of your traffic. Um, if you're using like Facebook and stuff like that, they won't see your true IP address. Uh, Google won't, your ISP won't be able to see your traffic. It'll be encrypted. So, and uh, anyone that's trying to spy on you, like hackers or anything of that nature. And they also won't be able to use tricks like um, if you click a link or go to a website to grab your IP address, it's very easy to get someone's IP address and then track them that way. And I'll demonstrate just how and, uh, shortly after and then the video. So once you have those two things running, what you want to do is open up your uh, OrbFox browser. And go to duckduckgo.com. Type in the hidden wiki. And as you can see here, there's like a couple knockoff hidden wikis. Now this is a dark website because you can see it ends in dot onion and it looks just like a bunch of gibberish. Um, all dark websites end in dot onion. Well, not all of them, but most of them will. And they use the analogy of an iceberg when they talk about the surface web and the deep and dark web. The top of the iceberg is the surface web. The bottom of the iceberg is the deep and dark web. And that will contain things like government websites, hidden tour services, 
medical records, intellectual um, information, and things of that nature. So what you want to do is scroll down till you see the one that says hello. Click that. That will take you to a, a link. And you have to do this in your Orbot or your Orbfox browser. And you have to have um, Orbot running or you won't be able to access the deep and dark web. And that will take you to a link. You click that. And now we're at the hidden wiki. Now what this basically is, is the Google of the deep and the dark web. Um, it indexes uh, deep and dark web links. So this is where you'll find all the typical things that you hear about on the deep and dark web. Gun markets, uh, fake passports, um, the, the famous drug markets, uh, even the, the kitty porn. There is some distasteful stuff on here, things that you uh, don't want to look at and don't see. So just be aware when you're clicking around um, and on the links. And also, um, if you want to find these more of these websites, um, you have to be told them or uh, you can look on other websites. Some websites have links that will take you to another deep web link to another deep web link to another. And that will lead you to like basically down a rabbit hole. And you can find some pretty crazy stuff on here, some pretty cool stuff, uh, some violent stuff. So just be aware that you never know what you're going to get into. So here's one of the drug markets. Um, that you always hear about on the deep and dark web. Um, you can see that you can purchase things with Bitcoin. Now be aware there's a ton of scams out here. Um, but I do know people that have purchased things on the deep and dark web. And were very satisfied with the product they got. Um, but you're taking a risk when you do these things. So just be warned ahead of time. That you know nothing's guaranteed on here. It's not legitimate uh, businesses. We'll check out that gun market that we've seen. And you can see the loss of speed isn't a ton. Um, the only annoying thing about using a VPN um, is or sometimes you'll get those CAPTCHAs that you have to enter, I am not a robot. Um, that can get kind of annoying, but the, the plus up that you get with the privacy is well worth it. And the connection and connectivity speed, you can see it isn't that much of a loss. So if you do start getting those CAPTCHAs when you use your VPN and or the Orbot proxy in the Tor network um, that says I am not a robot, um, that's why. You can turn it off if you get annoyed of it. But um, I highly suggest running it all the time because it's a huge uh, security boost for your phone, especially for mobile phones that are always sending data out and um, are very hackable targets and desirable targets for to be hacked by more than just hackers too, like the government. But here's uh, the drug markets and the guns and everything that you hear about on the deep and dark web. You can find here on the hidden wiki um, like I said, you can look around, just look for dot .onion links. Um, as you can see, it's just a bunch of gibberish up in my bar, and then it says dot .onion. So just look for websites like that. Um, but here you can find a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so check it out. Um, just be warned, like I said, about, you know, buying stuff and that there is kitty porn or is violent stuff on here. So just be aware of that. Um, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate... Uh, how Tor works in action by going to a website that shows you um, your IP address and the location associated with that IP address. And you can see here that it says I'm uh, in France currently and that this is my public IP address. I assure you that is definitely not. I would never put my public IP address out on the internet for everyone to see like that. Um, and obviously I'm not in France. so. Uh, that's how you can see Tor in action and how it works. This is uh, www.dnsleak.com. And then here's Tor's official uh, website if you just want to learn a little bit more about Tor. But yeah, that's the deep and the dark web. Uh, just check out the hidden wiki or look for .onion link extensions. Make sure your VPN and your proxies are you're on, which is the Orbot app I told you about. 
um, use your uh, Orb Fox browser to access it and you'll be able to scroll around on here and check it out so just see what you find um, hopefully you found this video informative if you did uh, go ahead and drop a like check out some of my other videos um, I'll leave the link to how to do this with a computer in the description and as always have fun and just uh, keep hacking